the thunder, thunder cat. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Hey, how are you? I'm Larry Kenny, the voice of Lion O, here today for my good friends Ryan and David. You may know if you listen to the podcast Radical Retro Rewind. I love it. All of it. Radical Retro Rewind. <laughs> she even looks older. You liked my art collection? Yeah, we've heard that one before, mummy. What is it? I heard him shout. Oh, yeah. Thundercats! Oh! Who you calling a hoe? Well, welcome back, bunglers, to a random update episode for you. It's not really an episode, but we wanted to say that we're still here. We're alive. We are, <laughs> and I am enjoying uh, a little sabbatical, a little vacation in New York City. Exploring, yes. seeing friends, old friends, and rekindling some relationships, and seeing family. Going different places. Going to the Jersey Shore to yes. see if Snooki's available to talk. <laughs> Just going around and really enjoying taking in some sights. Obviously, my children are loving it as well. Yes. And meeting new cousins. And- yes and extended family so it's been really great we have been non-stop i have not gone to bed any early in the, yeah. two or three o'clock every morning only to turn around and get up again in a few and hours and then travel yeah and, and go around all over. but it's been well worth it it was it's been an amazing time i'll definitely put some pictures up yes 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 on universal appeal david's instagram so we wanted to do this really quickly just to say hello touch base we know not all of our bunglers listen to our main episode Episodes. So on there, we kind of been saying like, Thundercats is coming, we promise. But just in case you don't listen to, you know, the main show and give us a try if you do. Which you should. Yeah, please, please. Thumbs up, subscribe, <laughs> tell a friend. Tell a friend, phone a friend. Honestly, I'm so happy a lot of our bunglers have crossed over and that is such an amazing experience for David and I. We just love that you like us enough. And to- remember, it does support the podcast overall. Oh, right, both, yes, both the flagship yeah. and the Thundercats, of yeah. course. So we are going to bring you Thunder Cubs parts one through five. It was supposed to be last month but i mean due to the traveling not only that though but just coordinating the five episodes and our summer movies we have our wonderful guest zach zach who, is back who, zach, yeah, zach is back he's gonna be with us so that has just been very very hectic but zach is gung-ho he is ready to do it so we will be bringing you that i thought really quickly i could just bring up a mail from our dear friend matesh just to fill out this little little mini thing. My informants tell me. My source tells me maybe your source. She even looks old. How dare you say that to me? I didn't think lion was like that. I tell you it's true. The information comes from my best source. <laughs> There's another thing. According to my source. I did it for the money. <laughs> And I paid in the money. Are you sure your source is on our side? You got thunder, 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 thunder. mail. And keep your foot off that blasted summer flan. Dear delicious David. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ravishing Ryan and Zesty Zach, I need to thank you beautiful brothers for all your amazing efforts and the time to review this ridiculous special five-parter for us humble bunglers. Firstly, I have to say I have never seen the Thunder Cubs before, but a better title would be The Case of the Careless Jaga. (gasps) Not Jaga. (laughs) Not my Jaga. (laughs) Not Judgmental Jaga. Judgmental Jaga, that's right. Did these writers sit there and say to themselves, what's the most radically important possible thing we can make happen without not explaining why or how. Because who cares? It's cool, right? No, you D-bags. It's ridiculous. I was aware of the Return to Thundera five-parter, but not that it started in a five-parter entitled Thunder Cubs, in which you only start seeing Thunder Cubs halfway through the fourth episode out of the five. Such a shoe in of ideas, which isn't even necessary at all. As our delicious David has said many times now. The shark is well and truly been jumped in season two plus. Here is our sight beyond sight review of part one. Jaga the Destroyer or the Mumra 
the Saver of Thundera. <laughs> Ooh. In the first episode, we learned that Jaga is a clumsy, careless dolt who caused the destruction of Thundera by throwing Darth Maul's flaming spiky sword into the core of the planet. So, David, this was something you mentioned two years ago? <laughs> Three years ago? It's the Sword of Plundar that Jaga disposes of. <laughs> He was. He, this isn't Lord of the Rings. You're not supposed to throw it into the into the volcano. Okay, is that what happens? That's the tower that um, he destroys mm -hmm. the ring. <laughs> you don't. Oh, don't even tell these. I guys. know. Tell I know. That you don't know. Lord of the Rings. But more disturbing was Jaga had his old man voice when he was a young fellow. <laughs> I'm sure he was still popular with those pussycat fangirls. Oh, genitals! I love that Mumra has his own Doctor Who type pyramid too that travels through time, which he could have used to mess up everything and anything through the first season, but never mind. So I didn't remember that because we didn't rewatch these episodes mm -hmm. yet, but the pyramid travels through time? I told you he loves the game. Was it Mumra's actions of traveling back to Thundera start the reform? of the planet that we are led to believe all praise Mumra the impossible saver of Thundera and of course Lingso can now sense when things are happening in space what the F if it was Chitara, I would have let it go because they have done the legwork on her powers of sensing things through time and, and she space. was abducted by an alien <laughs> yes <by force laughs> at some point as well and she even looks older David but Lingso bitch please <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matesh, we love our spicy Matesh. Sounds impossible, says Tigra, the best quote of the five-parter. Chitara then speculates that Thundarians could have survived and were living on the scattered fragments of Thundera. I'm, <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I have to take my blood pressure. Oh, wait, I'll just contact Ligso. I'm sure he already knows my numbers. <laughs> <laughs> It was great when Jaga appeared to Lionel and filled in the rest of the season stories spoilers like the Sword of Plundar, which I had nothing to do with Jaga should have added. Treasures of Thundera, then Jaga quickly disappears to get lawyered up. <laughs> And there's a lot of time wasted by Panthro and Lionel, but Linkso has all the answers, of course. Two hoes for the first part. Parts two and three, Vulture Man, the genius, and Snarf goes commando. Not the naked type. Thank you for adding that, Matesh, because you know we would have gotten excited. The naked well, type. Well, if it was Lionel or <laughs> Bengali. Bengali. These two episodes have more interesting storylines. Snarf's determination to rescue his fellow Snarfs. Oh, that's right, because the Snarfs become the new bird. I believe, and become the workers and builders. <laughs> and Vulture Man and Sly's plans, Sly's intuition and actions showed a level of thinking and lizard balls we have not seen since season one. Can't wait to do that. Mumra in episode three looked super cool. The animation was fantastic. His powers, and he knows how to use that sword. You go, mummy. The Thundercats keep wasting time as usual. Part two and three gets three hoes. Okay. So we're moving up. Part four, let's meet the Thunder Cubs, who cares? Grow some Thunderballs and get on with it. Sorry for being so negative, but if there was a clear reason this was being called Thunder Cubs, like their age reverting was linked to the rebirth of Thundera, then the title would have some significance. Oh, that's a good idea. But it was just an excuse to draw the original tea cats cute and annoying. One ho. Uh, but now we have the last episode. Okay. Hunkra the Bulky, and it's our our wonderful friend Snowman. Oh, he's back. It's your wonderful friend Snowman. We love you, Snowman. Mumra is genuinely threatening with that sword. What a man. I mean, mummy man. What a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Yes, he, he is. is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I love the appearance of the ancient spirits of evil in their evil pink goo form with more spoilers about the last day with the promised powers. Okay, so the last day is the last day they're on third earth, which is the only episode I saw of the new season. And Mumra gets a makeover to Hunkra, the ever living. It was very helpful of Hunkra to leave the Book of Omens on the floor for Lionel, but their battle was awesome. 80s fantasy anime action ho. Hunkra even has comic book freeze powers when he stopped the battle and Hunkra 
Okra was defeated by falling in his giant lake of voyeurism. I shudder to show you this, Hachiman. And Snarf goes back from Mumbut, the only Thundercat with any morals and ethics. I loved how the TARDIS pyramid only functions with Mumbut at the controls, and of course, the Cave of Time. What a quick fix. I'm so glad we see the Cave of Time again. And at no point in this five-parter did anyone ask how the name of Manslaughter by Jaga did Thundera start forming. If we start seeing Thundarians who were on the debris back on Thundera all fit and well, I'm going to lose my thunderballs. The final episode gets four hoes. Okay, okay. 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 The biggest bunglers are the 80s writers. There were some good parts. All of Snarf spits. Hunkra. We have to call him that then. Mutant's plans and the Thundercats waste so much time. They should have just made this the rebirth of Thundera or start of the search of the treasures of Thundera. Thank you again to David, Ryan, and Zach. We love you all and your insights and beautiful support of all your bunglers. We love you, Matesh. FYI, ever since our gorgeous Greek bungler Kostas, hi Kostas, posed the what if question, my Thundarian tail has been twitching for a good scenario. I've been thinking about this what if and have a detailed answer which I will share soon. Ooh. But for now, my what if Lionel destroyed Mumra, his physical form, on the fifth day of the anointment trials and Mumra returned as a spirit of evil who possessed Lino for the remaining season. Oh, wow. Until next time, Retro Brothers and Bunglers Ho. Okay, David. So we'll ask our bunglers to end the episode. But what if that? That's very, to quote, charmed. Like when they kill the source and then it goes into Cole's body and they don't know. First of all, thank you oh, so well, much. Oh, Matesh, yeah, as thank always. you. And he could basically destroy everything. He could he could destroy the Sword of Omens. I wonder if the Sword of Omens would, no, would react yes, to him. Yeah. Yes. And I wonder if that yes. would be kind of like the giveaway where he doesn't use the Sword of Omens. And <laughs> Yeah! Because he can't. Yes, yes. So that might be kind of one of those things. Or he brings out the curse of Belzine. Belzine? The Belzine? The whatever it is. The, cu the curse of Belzine! But, um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. That's fantastic, because they mean, would think Mumra was gone. Or what if it would be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist this a little bit, Matesh. Yeah. What if it is that Mumra lets Lionel come to the surface sometimes, and he takes over at different times, and Lionel doesn't remember he that he's, that he's remember. been, because to keep up the facade, because because Lionel could basically, Mumra under the guise of Lionel could undermine all of their relationships with oh, everybody. Oh, yes. Destroy Do everything. little things here and there. And then ultimately destroy the Thundercat. We know Mumra can't play the long game, I think, right? Because he has to go to instant gratification. Even if he's there that night well, as a burble. If Lionel dresses up in drag... <laughs> Then you know that it was... Oh my god, he's like, you know, now that I'm beautiful, I don't even... He doesn't even worry anymore. He just wanted to be good looking and to be able to dress. But why didn't you take over Chitara? <laughs> How dare you? I could see it maybe not lasting a season. They could have done a five-parter of that, honestly. And it would have left Mumra gone for a longer period of time. And and it would have been interesting to see Lionel go to Castle Plunder. <laughs> As and, and then they're thinking they're attacking him, and it's like Mumra's like, You fool! Here. Yeah. <laughs> it's me! Good, and he could be slowly rebuilding the pyramid and the sarcophagus. Matesh, that is a great... I never would have thought of that. That's a good one. Evil possession from Mumra. So that's perfect. So for our what if bunglers, send them in because we will be recording this five part eventually. So if we have those lined up for when the five part is, we can discuss that with Zach. Matesh's reviews, hearing that and then see the stuff. Exactly what I was thinking. I'm, I'm wondering if his reviews... Well, of course they're going to affect us because I, I value his opinion. Yes, of course, of course. But I, I think we're on the same vein the way we think. And I, I could probably see that too. Like, why would you? I'm just off the bat because I haven't really seen it. Yeah. I don't remember it. If I, 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 prob I know I did, but like, why would they call it that? They could call it anything else. And especially if they're Thunder Cubs for one episode out of five. Yeah, that. But they were into this five parters at this time. I think they had to open because this is the beginning of our, se our new season. So our season through. So they love the openers, but Bungler let us know and again we are gonna bring you that five part episode and I'm actually excited because I bet you Zach will bring a whole other dimension to these things as well like he always 
Chase comes up with like the voice of reason for some of these. Zach is going to have so much information, and he's and he's going to be like, and I have this lithograph of the, of the new <laughs> raw that like I would love it. That's only one in existence. I love it. I would. I I, I, I want like, him. I want him to do the sequel to his book still of Mamrana and her thighs. Mamrana's belt. Bunglers, we will be back shortly. We hope you enjoyed this very mini male what if and update. <laughs> You can always find David, like we mentioned, at Universal Appeal 2020, all one word, and the Radical Retro Rewind Podcast, one word, on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and beyond. Of course, our Thundercats only. Instagram is Thundercats1985 Reviews on Instagram. And uh, we are still searching for reviews, bunglers, and you guys are winning. Honestly, out of our our main show and our bunglers, our bunglers have reviewed us so much. So thank thank you. you. Thank Thank you, bunglers. Because it means a lot. It lets us know that we're on the right path. It's it's encouraging. And it's, I I, I just love, I I mean, I always say it. I just love the camaraderie. And I I just, I don't know, the shared experience, I guess, from our childhoods, from sharing it, like with Natasha with his children. It's just really great. The fact that you review us just shows you the support and love for the Thundercats, you know, fans and community too. So we love that. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll probably get updates because I'm always updating when the episodes will drop. I will, I will be returning to my home state. (laughs) He's returning to Thundera himself. returning to Thundera (laughs) because it does kind of look like my red. Yeah, honestly. I will be returning to my state soon and then we're going to be getting together with Zach and scheduling that soon. Yes, the five parter so, yeah bunglers bear with us we're gonna do that five parter and then we are going on hiatus until september which means you're not gonna get any really too much new content other than maybe a few little things but we will still be recording oh my scenes. god yes because we got another five parter right after that for september so we're going through thundercats galore and i actually i refigured it out i thought we were gonna be done in january we're gonna be done in the following january so you have another year of thundercats with us and you get thundercats <laughs> and you get thundercats <laughs> There you go. Before we even get to the 2011, so we'll have some maybe some old, more old guests like Zach. Yes, and some new guests yes. On. Leah is coming on. She's for her, ready for her namesake. Yes, episode. Leah. Next episode oh, is Frogman. Okay. Leah, look forward to that. Leah, Frogman. We love you, Bunglers. Thank you so much, and we will see you soon. And as always, David, Thundercats, ho. I guess that makes me a New York hoe, but don't call me it. Don't come for me unless I send for you. (laughs) 